I've been given an, an extraordinary gift um, by Ashley, and I I did not know that she has had this for several years. Um, it was my honor to uh, meet her father in Baghdad in 2004, and and uh, take him around to a few places and run a few convoys. But um, I, I'm I'm overwhelmed that she has done this beautiful painting. It, it is. Uh, her representation of the wall uh, from, uh, is accurate because I've been there. But to see a, a reflection of myself from Vietnam and a reflection and then myself from when I was in Iraq um, is, um, takes my breath away. And um, that someone would do this for me is, uh, very, is very humbling. Uh, I don't feel that I deserve to have something done like this just for me. I mean, there's all the, all the soldiers that have served I've, I've served with many many soldiers in in multiple situations and I still remember the the guys I served with in Vietnam including the ones who didn't come home and uh, as a lot of old soldiers will tell you that, that when you serve with another generation of soldiers many of the soldiers you serve with remind you much of the ones that you knew a generation before and very few soldiers have had a chance to serve in in, in multiple generations in terms of wars, but but I um, I had that opportunity, and uh, and while there are a lot of memories that are, are not so pleasant, um, you kind of you kind of try to remember the you remember the faces, you remember the, the ones who made it and the ones who didn't, and um, but I I would hope that every soldier, sailor, airman, and marine that has had the opportunity to serve their country. Uh, has someone who thanks them for it. Uh, when I was this guy, I got off a plane in Orlando, Florida, coming home, and not one person said a word to me. Nobody ever, it was probably 15 years before anyone ever said anything to me about, gee, thanks for your service. When I came back this time from Iraq, and when I was, when I came through Bangor, Maine, um, I got off the plane, and, and there were dozens of people with signs, welcome home, and it meant a lot. And during my time stateside, as I've traveled around, I've had people come up to me and, and thank me greatly for, for my service. And that did not happen post-Vietnam. As Hal Moore of We Were Soldiers fame said, hate war, but love the warrior. Uh, you, can, you may not agree with the reason that uh, wars have been fought or, or that the war is now is being fought, but respect those who have, have volunteered to go put themselves in harm's way because they are, they are uh, defending you, they are protecting you, and they are standing between you and, and evil. And um, for those of you who serve, remember that the service itself should be its own reward. Uh, if other people thank you, then that's a bonus, but uh, the service itself is its own reward. And uh, once again, I'm very grateful to Ashley for having taken the time and effort to, to do this for me, and uh, I will never forget this. And uh, this painting will occupy a place of honor in my home forever. I'll have to probably put glass over so my wife doesn't throw darts at it. But um, when she's mad, no, I'm just kidding. Babe. But uh, but anyway, um, once again, Ashley, thank you very much. I cannot tell you how much this means to me, and um, you will always hold a special place in my heart for having done this for me. Thank you. Said goodbye to his mom. As he left South Dakota to fight for the red, white, and blue He was 19 and green with a new M16 Just doing what he had to do He was dropped in the jungle where the choppers would rumble With the smell of nails